Welcome to this tutorial on Oracle Business Suite Integrated SOA Gateway. I'm Rekha Ayoti, Principal Product Manager for Integrated SOA Gateway and other integration related products from a business suite. Today we will see how to publish PLSQL API as REST servers. This tutorial is intended for architects, developers, and implementers who are working on integration of eBusiness Suite application. It can also be referred by mobile application developers who are working on developing custom mobile applications on top of eBusiness Suite. There are a few prerequisites. You are expected to be familiar with web services terminology and the relevant eBusiness Suite application. And if you're planning to refer this tutorial for hands-on experience, ensure to have your eBusiness Suite release 12 to 4 instance configured for REST services. For that, you would have to refer my Oracle support note 13110681. The objective of this tutorial is to see or learn how to deploy Oracle eBusiness Suite PLSQL API as a REST service and then test it. We will consider the sample use case of Create Employee in eBusiness Suite. And here are the high level steps. First, I will search for relevant API in Integration Repository. Then I will deploy that PLSQL API as REST servers and create grants for it. Then invoke the servers and finally verify that the employee record is created in eBusiness Suite. Here we go. I have Oracle eBusiness Suite released 12 to 4 instance. It has integrated SOA gateway configured for REST services. I log in as sysadmin who has access to integrated SOA gateway. In the home page, I navigate to integrated SOA gateway responsibility. Click on Integration Repository. Click on Search button. I will search by business entity. Employ. Here are the list of APIs belonging to business entity employ. The last one is of my interest. I'll click on employee name. This is the interface detail page for the API and as you can see, it's an Oracle seeded public API. You can scroll down to see the list of methods in the API. Navigate to REST Web Service tab. Note that here sysadmin user is also playing the role of integration administrator and that's why you see the administration tab on top and in REST Web Service tab you can perform the actions that are very specific to REST services. From this tab you can provide service alias, select the methods that you want to publish as REST service and then deploy it. I will provide Employee as the alias name. Select Create Employee. Click Deploy. I get the confirmation message on top of the page, and now we have the PLSQL API deployed as a REST service on click of a button. Service endpoints and XSDs are accessible from the WADL and by default for PLSQL API only the POST HTTP method is supported. Click on view WADL link. Here is the WADL. Now we'll navigate to Grants tab. The grants that are defined here are common for both SOAP and the REST services. I will select Create Employee and click Create Grant. If more than one methods are selected, they are listed here. 
You can create grant for a specific user, group of users, or all users. I want to give access to a group of users having the responsibility. HRMS manager. Search for the responsibility. Curate this. I will select it. Click create grant to save the work. Navigate back to REST Web Service tab. View battle. And the XSD. Here is the sample payload for the servers. As shown in this JSON payload, we have REST header and input parameters. I'll make use of Advanced REST Client in Chrome browser to test the servers. It's a POST method. Provide resource URL from the battle. Add HTTP headers for basic authentication. Construct it for a HRMS user. Similarly, add other headers. Accept the response in JSON as well. I'll paste the sample payload in the payload area. Click send. Here is the JSON response. It has returned employee number along with other details for the record. Now I will verify the employee record in a business way. Login as the Charmus user. Navigate to US Super Charmus Manager Responsibility. Click on People. Enter and maintain form. Find for the employee record. Employee number returned by the services 2404. Enter it here. And find. And here it is. So the employee record is created in a business suite application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Here are a few references. If you have any queries or feedback, you can reach to me directly in this email address. Thank you.